Well, the fact that I was in their shoes just a short couple months ago, really, because I'm in my first year of university, I can remember myself sitting in the same chairs that they were sitting in and feeling the same way that they were feeling and really sympathizing with a lot of the uncertainty that they're going through, but also a lot of the hopes and dreams for the future that they have. And so I really wanted to go out there and speak directly to where they were and hopefully inspire them to walk down a path that would be worth walking down. Oh man, um, they all were paying uh, like rapt attention. I mean, they've been sitting there in those seats for a long time. The show was very tiring. Um, but it was just, I'd say it was pretty electric out there. I think there are two levels to that. I think the first is definitely a personal one. Um, just like I talked about being uh, limitless, like stripping away those limits, allowing yourself to dream, even if just for a little bit, about what life could be without those self-imposed limitations. And then I also think that a support network is, is extremely important. I think that's what a lot of the students here have. That's why they're here. They had teachers that believed in them, you know, that parents that supported them. There are lots of kids with their families here with them, which I think is fantastic and extremely valuable. And so I think also that external support of other people believing them can be instrumental in that kind of personal development and success. I think that virtual communication definitely has its merits and has accomplished a lot um, but at the same time I think there's something about face-to-face -face communication that encourages that emotional connection that allows uh, communication to be a lot fuller, um, that allows you to um, like the kind of energy that was out there could not have been possible if they were all just computer screens in front of me and me talking to them or some kind of live webcast. I wouldn't have been able to interact with them in the way that I did and they and same thing uh, with them, them with me. And so I definitely think getting together uh, in a physical space is extremely important and that's why um, congresses or you know conferences like this are so important because of the goal or the end goal that it achieves. I would definitely say a lot of the people at science fairs that I've met, um, every science fair, especially if you go to Intel ISEF or you go to the International Sanofi Competition, is like a massive conference. It's kind of like a big award ceremony also. Um, and some of my closest friends have come from those uh, settings, but also some of the most inspiring people that I've met. I included one story of one of the people I met, the International Biology Olympiad gold medalist. Um, and they constantly show me um, how they themselves are pushing the limits in their own lives. Like one of my friends that I met, he is only freshman and he's already working under the head of the medical school at Yale doing research already, which is like unheard of, especially Yale with such a big graduate school. Um, so that really pushes me myself to examine, you know, am I, am I really living out what I'm talking about in terms of being limitless and seeing what else I can do? A goal can be very useful. But at the same time, sometimes you just never know where life is going to take you and where you're going to go. Like, I definitely didn't start out my career saying, I am going to win this National Science Fair in four years. Um, it's not something that I could have planned out or foreseen. Um, so I definitely think just starting small and um, looking at what options you have at each point in time and then reaching forward to the one that will take you the furthest is the best course of action.